The following is a mystical activation that summons an octave of ancient energy to enlighten and heal your life. If the moon enters your sun sign, a strange process emerges. A purification diet is required. No animal products, no sex. Create an exceptionally peaceful, pure state for two and a half days. Once the moon enters your sun sign, you will know when it manifested, but use your ceremonial protection and verification methods. Water, Agua Florida, Sage, Cedar, Palo Santo, Tobacco, and so on. Preferably when the moon is visible, but there are no rules. The seed enters the solar plexus and descends all 33 vertebrae, bursting each chakra along the way. Multiply the number of petals on the Hindu chakra system by 1,000 for the lotus crown chakra. You get the 144,000 saved souls mentioned in the Bible, as well as the 144,000 twin flames of the New Age movement, and so on. Furthermore, for most of us, 12 times 12 equals 144 was the pinnacle of our mathematical education. We exchanged mythology and numerology for math, gematria for geometry, and astrology for astronomy. It's critical to understand that this accommodation occurred. To understand the universal mind, remember that there are feminine mathematical arts that decipher life's rhythms. It's actually what our history is made of. Entire cities are designed with this in mind. Complete university curriculums are encoded with this in mind. With this knowledge, we can create beautiful wisdom to guide and stabilize our divine awakening journey. This is why Jesus was crucified at the age of 33. Atop the 33 vertebrae is a cross, a junction point of two nerves that leads to the pineal and pituitary glands in heaven that heaved up the place where heaven awaits the prodigal son's return, the chrism seed. Following the successful reception and protective levitation of speed, spiritual germ produced by the moon in your sun sign, thousands of dormant brain cells are activated, and the process of recycling your old blood into new blood has enormously restarted. The age-old secret of physiological regeneration, retained by the elders for us, right under our noses all the time your Santa Claus comes down the funnel, spinal column, and leaves gifts from the North Pole, cerebrum, most high, is made in the land of elves, or leaves coal if you've been bad. Saint Claustrum or Santa Claustrum is an area of the brain that secretes regenerative divine gifts regenerating cerebrospinal fluid when you are good, mana from heaven, and neuromelanin, released with anger and chronic addiction, blacked out, and brain damaged, aka Claustrum offers black coals instead of gifts. The roots of this wisdom are connected in similar esoteric lineages in which the overseers have a strong interest. Kabbalah, Freemasonry, Rosicrucianism, and other mystery groups are all descendants of the mystery schools. They are an integral part of why the superiors sincerely believe they are wiser than us, and that their path of collateral damage is of the highest order. These inverted teachings implore to be confronted with some modest ferocity. The Claustrum Activation Technique is a broad technique that has the potential to cause massive shifts, not only in your own physiology, pranic consolidation, but also in the realms of the inverted esoteric realms. Within this activation, the 33 vertebrae you climb create a diffusion point towards healing the 33 degrees of Freemasonry. This is just one of several healing points. The next one is Jesus Christ, Christmas. If you choose to start this process, may your work bless the divine essence of Yeshua, Mother Mary, Radha Krishna, and the surrounding mycelial and mineral networks. According to ancient hermetic wisdom, our entity's alchemical instruments can transform spiritual lead into spiritual gold. According to Santos Bonacci's lifelong study, all Gospels, God's Bells, are instruction manuals of physical and spiritual regeneration. This is the Cabal War Machine's kryptonite as it fosters extended life, fifth-dimensional living, pranic metabolism, daily vision quests, the quantum elimination of suffering worldwide, and so many more presents down the chi m ni The greatest of secrets. Ancient people taught this. It's in the Bible, all of the legendary books, and all the characters in the body. 
Your body represents the Holy Land. A sacred secret is kept hidden from the people. The esoteric science of physiological regeneration is the key to unlocking this secret. The terms esoteric and exoteric are used interchangeably. Our bodies have the ability to produce new blood and reactivate millions of dormant brain cells. The sacred science of physiological regeneration is also mentioned in the Bible through allegorical stories. There's a lot more to it than that. When new blood is created, the body's mechanisms eliminate the old toxic blood. Astrology is a component of ancient syncretic knowledge. Astro refers to the stars, and Logos is the Greek word for reason. The term Logos has developed into something more mysterious, alluding to a divine source language much of the time. Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci knew about these insider facts. Do we now see that all fields of study have their ology, or root, in the Logos, based in reason? Or is it based on the mystery? Maybe even root for the stars. When the moon is in the sun sign that you were born under, your cerebrum secretes a secretion 12 times a year, or once a month. This is the story of Jesus and his 12 disciples. Throughout the year, the sun moves through the zodiac's 12 signs. We have 12 cranial nerves, 12 bodily systems, 12 petals on the heart chakra, and so on. This illustrates the as above, so below principle in action. Oil of the Christ. This is the Christos, holy oil in Greek. This is the story of Christ within us all. The cerebrum secretes the oil from the holy claustrum, or Santa claustrum. This region was known as the saint's claustrum in anatomical texts, or was Latinized, into Santa Claus. The legend of Santa Claus is based on this inner science between Santa brings spiritual gifts down your chimney, spinal column. It's differentiated in the pineal and pituitary glands in heaven, that heaved up place where our higher faculties of awareness reside. The cranium, from the initial secretion in the cerebrum claustrum. These glands are called Joseph, pineal, and Mary, pituitary. The pineal gland produces a masculine electrical component known as honey, which contains DMT, while the pituitary gland produces a magnetic feminine element known as milk. The sacred heavens can also be found in our brains. This is the land of milk and honey, as the Bible describes. The pineal gland is connected to the pingala nerve, while the pituitary gland is connected to the ida nerve, also known as the kundalini and the kunda buffer. These nerves run all the way down the spine and tree of life. These nerves connect to the sacral plexus and sacrum areas of our body's lower vertebrae. They make their way through the spinal column, imitating a DNA strand. In Genesis chapter 28, verse 10, Jacob connects with God after falling asleep and placing a large stone under his head. How cozy. Contact with God occurs after the oil secreted in the head descends all the way to the stone, the five fused vertebrae at the base of the spine, sacral plexus, the Christos seed, returns to heaven. The sacral plexus contains a powerful sexual energy that when harvested, can transform into electrical energy that rises back into the brain. Bethlehem refers to the area between the solar plexus and the sacral plexus. When the oil is down here, it receives a low vibration, which activates it to some extent. However, without awareness, it's very likely that one will destroy the oil by having sex at the incorrect time or contaminating the body through diet or behavior during the crucial two and a half day period when the moon is in your sun sign. Simply put, the seed requires our intention to dissolve time's boundaries and continue where the mystery schools left off. The saint's claustrum has two functions. It either secretes Christos cerebrospinal fluid, which transports the seed back to heaven, or it secretes neuromelanin, a blackening substance secreted by the claustrum when the body, mind, or soul is polluted. The neuromelanin is the black coal Santa delivers to naughty boys and girls as it blackens the brain tissue. The God Brain When the time comes for the seed to be implanted in your sacral plexus, it's critical to refrain from releasing any precious fluids. If we squander it, we will have to wait another month. We're supposed to put some of that energy back into the system. When the oil runs out, the fleshly organism dies. This is what the Bible calls tithing. You must give the Lord one-tenth of the oil. The Lord's root is ore, the base mineral of gold. 
and there it is again, God being one letter short of gold. In all manners, this beautiful Christos fluid is alchemical gold. It's called God's Serum. This practice allowed ancient masters to live longer. To some extent, living a spiritually aware life invokes this process, but we must remember that this ritual manifested thousands of years ago for a reason. When we follow the forte of our forefathers, the Reformation practice becomes exponentially more effective, especially in a world where Christian devotion is so widespread. Accept the Bible as an instruction manual for the body, this physical organism we've been given as our holiest of holy temples. What's fascinating is that the Eastern world has retained and transmuted knowledge of the beautiful chrism we all possess. Even the most basic Hindu practices include raising the kundalini and bursting the chakras in ascending order, while abstaining from sex, alcohol, and animal eating. Alcohol, the release of sexual fluids, the consumption of acidic, animal-based foods, riotous living, and hateful, angry, or otherwise non-peaceful attitudes are all detrimental to the cerebrum's beautiful, precious oil. We have four brains. The cerebrum is the brain of God. The cerebellum is the man brain, linked to the lower mind. The medulla oblongata is the third brain, in charge of involuntary actions such as breathing. The solar plexus is the fourth brain, and is associated with the lower mind, greed, animalistic behavior, and so on. The total number of nerves in the brain and the solar plexus is 12. This secret reveals the location of the Ark of the Covenant. The Bible depicts the Ark with two cherubim and two covering angels. This is the cerebrum, which has two hemispheres that protect the cerebellum and the inner brain. The Ark of God, whose name is the Lord of Hosts, who sits enthroned between the cherubim that are on it. Samuel chapter 6, verse 2. When the moon is in your sun sign, a psycho-spiritual germ is created and planted in your solar plexus, the twelve-fold nerve cluster behind your stomach. The solar plexus is known as the house of bread due to its proximity to your gut. Bethlehem means house of bread in Hebrew. Virgo governs digestion, which is one of the reasons Christ was born of a virgin. All references to fish and bread in the New Testament refer to the 2,160 years zodiacal axis of time during which this version of the Bible was written. The Great Age of Pisces, the fish, which is directly opposing Virgo, the virgin of the yearly grains for bread and sustenance. As a result, we have fish and bread, Jesus' fish symbols, and bread is eaten as the body of Christ in church ceremonies. It's all astrophysics and astrology. This germ, or seed, initiates the rising of the Christos oil that has accumulated in the sacral plexus. When properly risen, it initiates physical regeneration, blood recycling, and a profound, long-lasting illumination of the inner vision. When the oil seed is successfully returned to the cranium, as heaven awaits the return of the prodigal son, the frequency and vibration increase and the pneumogastric nerve crosses over and connects to the pineal and pituitary glands by the time it reaches the 33rd vertebrae. Jesus was crucified at 33 years old. At the point of crucifixion, Christ's oil illuminates the optic thalamus gland, also known as the light of the world. The oil seed remains in limbo, dead, for three days before being resurrected on the third day as the moon exits your sign. This all happens at the 33rd vertebrae. Isn't it strange how everything connects? Jesus' age, the 33 degrees of Freemasonry, 11, 11, 11, and so on. Spiritual illumination. At this point, the oil accelerates in vibration to reach the pineal gland, where all of our millions or billions of dormant brain cells are activated. Our brain operates on the God-brain level. This crucifixion multiplies the vibratory frequency of the oil by a thousand, corresponding to the crown chakra's thousand-petal lotus. The Bible mentions 144,000 people sealed with the Father's name on their foreheads. If you add the number of petals from root to brow from the Hindu chakra system and multiply it by the thousand-petal crown lotus, you get 144,000. More syncretic beauty. The Christo stimulation is a sheer and natural traditional activation of your profound spiritual self. It will help you remember what you truly are and why you are personified on a deeper level. 
The knowledge stored in our brain cells emerges alongside the higher faculties of simply existing. Our entire consciousness undergoes metamorphosis. What to do when the moon is in your sun sign is summarized below. Prepare up to one, three, or more days ahead of time to welcome the seed with even more purity. The two and a half day period is the absolute bare minimum. Draw, paint, write, listen to, or create music. Relax, drink plenty of fluids, eat only vegan food, meditate, devote time to animals, avoid consuming alcohol, maintain a peaceful demeanor, avoid sex or the release of sexual fluids, avoid excessive eating, pray, consider your entire body, including your spinal column, solar plexus, brain, brain stem, pineal, and pituitary glands, preparing for the arrival of the chrism seed in your solar plexus. Visualize your spine intertwined with the kundalini and kunda buffer nerves, the tree of life, ready to carry the seed back to the heavenly cranium. The thalamus can be seen filling with light, which it may do on its own at some point during the two and a half days. The thalamus is located in the center of the inner brain, between the pineal gland, Joseph, and the pituitary gland, Mary. Recognize the Christ seed as a psycho-spiritual germ that may appear differently to each participant or only take one form. Practice and spread the word about raising Christ. Enjoy the remarkable activation.